Hi everyone, it's Hatsy and I'm back with some gameplay footage of the new expansion pack, Cats and Dogs. So I'm sorry I'm a little bit late with this. I had some other stuff that I really wanted to work on first, which was a build, which I thought was a little bit more important. But, strange, because we're actually doing another build now. I only had about 10 minutes of time to really explore gameplay. I didn't get that long, but when I did, I decided to do a very quick build just to place down some items and then play with the pets that I made in the creator sim. So that should be pretty good. So you'll get to see that coming up now. And it's actually quite nice because we can see some of the items just in like a really slow mode, which is great. So we've got some litter trays for the cats. I think we've got some beds and things like that. And I'm pretty sure if you like pause the video, then you could probably see like exactly what description says what. And it's pretty slowed down but hey I'm quite a fast builder and I think some of people have probably noticed that about me from the last build that I did because that took an hour and I got that done pretty quickly so I wasn't really sure what was going on here to be honest um, I managed to get onto the cats climbing frames which I think are so interesting and to be completely honest with everyone I've never actually seen a cat use one of those climbing frames so it's quite nice to see it happen in The Sims 4 because from my experience with cats, they are very independent. They do not like the things that you buy them, just in most cases. And I have had the case where I've spent a lot of money on my parents' cat to have him not use any of the items. <laughs> so it's quite nice. But we have some training grounds and I think they may be for cats as well, but I'm honestly not sure. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, you can get cats in there. Okay. so. This is the lady that I created, Gabrielle Hargrove. Now she got some negativity. Can I just address this? I really didn't spend long on her. And I don't think that she's a bad sim. Honestly, I don't think she's bad looking. I think that she's fairly inoffensive. So that's good. And I was also recording completely by accident with the Sims 4 camera at this point. <laughs> Sad times, I don't use that camera. So I'm not really used to it. But I was trying to take some screenshots as well. You'll probably see those coming up at the end. I really didn't want to speed any of this up because I wanted to be able to talk over it. It's supposed to be like a really chilled video. Like that's the idea for this. And you can just kind of see the pets moving around at this point. They're just like standing around. I think that I actually had the game settings to autonomy off, I think. But I don't, I don't know if that even works with pets. Um, but they really do have a mind of their own. So we've got one of the pets, the Australian Shepherd, to go through and you can have a little look at him. That's adorable. <laughs> and um, you can see as well, like in the background, I think it will come up in a little bit, but there was actually a woman just like walking past with a dog, which I just thought was amazing from memory anyway. It's been a while, it's been a few months, but there are just specific things I remember. And the little kitten, I told you we'd see him in gameplay. But isn't he just the cutest? He is just... Adorable. Like, look at the size of him compared to the Smoky Cat. I um, actually knew a Smoky Killer cat called Smoky. <laughs> I'm not weird, I promise. I just, hey, that's it. That's what I thought of. The dogs are just like chilling out over there. Whilst the cats, I think they're sharing. Oh my goodness. I can honestly say that like, I'm gonna have so much fun when I get my hands on this game because I'm just looking at this with just pure envy of past me because future me does not like past me. I can tell you, I'm very jealous of past me right now. <laughs> and um, no, I had a really good time to be fair. I was just probably like ring all the way through this because this is just the best. So I think that the dogs are kind of just like out there by themselves at this point. So whilst we're messing around with these cats, I think the dogs are just like chilling out by themselves, but they really do have a mind of their own. And I think I kind of touched on this in the creator sim, but to go into more specifics, this is what I was told, like I may be completely wrong, but the pets have like hidden traits. So some dogs will behave differently to others and it doesn't even matter. Like you could have the same traits for each dog, but some will just behave differently. Like some will sleep more, some will have more energy you know, things like that. So that's interesting. So I actually wanted to see the creator sim. Oh my goodness, why am I referring to the sim as a creator sim? That is just terrible. Gabriella, is it? Gabrielle? I wanted to see what it looked like. Um, it, <laughs> this is getting worse. I wanted to see what she looked like picking up the kitten. 
and seeing that kind of interaction because I don't think we've seen that yet and I just thought that was adorable yeah like look at that friendship I'm sorry if that isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen in The Sims 4 I don't know what is like tell me tell me another time where that has just had the same effect of cuteness no it doesn't happen I'm sorry and what is she doing walking past with her food can you leave us alone please <laughs> to enjoy this moment now I don't know if the pets just like naturally gather all together but I did start to notice that oh and also that's really cute so you can see the dog in the background just like go over to the lady I think that you can like point to where you want them to go things like that from memory or whistle and they'll come to you but they're not like um sort of how the sims are like you can't control everything they do they really do have a mind of their own which is nice i know that a lot of people complain about that but really like have you ever been able to control what your pet does <laughs> have you really i think it makes it a lot more realistic i mean it's not great if you like to plan stuff like me if, if you really like to get into stories and stuff and you want to plan every single detail because it's really easy to control sims it's just not that easy to control pets but as long as you stay away from i don't know warriors storylines or anything like that then you'll be fine or i don't know a homeward bound series or something like that so yeah we'll see but i did try and include different dog breeds just so you get to see what they're like just in gameplay, I didn't want to just have the same breed of cat and dog because I wanted to mix it up a bit because, you know, everybody likes something different. But I explained that in the creator sim. So you can actually see that you can do sort of different activities with them. And you can actually take them on a walk as well. I think that I tried that. Was that what I was doing at this point? Hmm. I can't remember. My screen's really small, so I will never know. Oh, go on an adventure, I think it's called. Cool. Yeah, there's just like this random woman that's just trying to take over everything. Thanks. Oh, she just walks off now. She's like, okay, nope, I'm done. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so that was a short trip. I do like how they are all like huddled together though. That's really cute. So it's not like they're all just, you know, in completely different places of the world. They're kind of sticking together a bit. But you can see that that cat on the climbing frame is probably a little bit more independent, which is great. And you know, please remember as well, there are hardly any items here right now. You know, this is gonna look different if there's like a house with things for them to jump on and like cool stuff to do. But at the moment, like they literally have a pen with a few things <laughs> just to see, you know, just to kind of give you an idea of this. I didn't get much time. If I had, oh my goodness, that's too cute. If I had enough time, then I would have probably used the house that Steph and I built and I would have put the pets inside, but whilst I was actually on the gameplay, Steph was in the background doing the interior of the house because I wanted to like, you know, leave her alone for a little bit and then, you know, give her some time to do that. Because, <laughs> hey, I get annoying, I do. Um, but that's what was going on. So another thing as well, you can Instagram your pet, which is interesting. So you can take like pictures of them and then I suppose it's, it's a little bit like a fame career which could be interesting, you know, if you want to do that. I wonder if your pets can get famous. No, I don't think they can. But I was trying to have an interaction with at least every single pet. I think one actually went wandering off, which was quite sad. And pets actually do go wandering off. So you'll notice that as well. And there are a few little strays in the world, but something that I noticed is it doesn't look unreasonable for strays to be around. I don't know, I felt like in The Sims 3, it was just, I don't know, too many strays. Like, it was like a whole world with them just everywhere, you know? And you just, you couldn't get enough of them. <laughs> of them. But it genuinely feels like if you see a stray cat or dog, or if you see like a dog exploring, it just kind of gives me the feeling that they live nearby and they're just having like a little wonder in the background. They're not intruding on your space and coming into your gameplay. They're probably just like walking past, just as we saw the dog that just kind of disappeared into the distance just then. It's like that, you know, it gives you a bit of a feeling that it is actually more realistic. I don't know, that's just like my opinion though. So it's nice, because then you can stop the cats and dogs going past. I can't wait to breed, honestly. Like, I know that sounds really weird, but I can't wait to have a whole litter of kittens. That's gonna happen. And a whole litter of puppies. And hey, I might even recreate my real life. What was this dog? 
I don't know what this was at this point. That was like a um, giraffe zebra weird thing that went past. <laughs> and I was thinking that as well during gameplay. I was thinking, what is that? I thought it was really nice how the cat was playing with the ball. And um, I like the interactions as well. Just very realistic in my opinion. Look how the dog's sleeping. Wouldn't that just look amazing by the fire? They look amazing on their own, but you can just imagine what kind of things you can do in live mode when you have props and things. So yeah, this was the lady on the walk. I loved this to bits and I just thought this was so nice. I don't know where the lead was. That was the only thing, but something to remember is it's not official footage. What I was trying to do is um, I was trying to stick to a safe area because there were some areas that just weren't finished at this time. Like I knew that the um, the vet career path, I know that it's been mentioned now, so I can probably mention it. At the time when we were making these videos, that was not finished and that was like pretty early days. So, you know, there's stuff like that, that I tried to stay away from, but this world was apparently, you know, it was okay, but I think there were some things, you know, maybe sort of still missing in that. I wanted to show you some of the atmosphere as well. It's a completely blank screen for me, but you'll probably see some really pretty views. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to get the expansion pack when it comes out? Are you going to enter my giveaway? I don't know what to do for it though. If you have any ideas for a giveaway that I could do, like a cool competition, I don't just want to, you know, give it to any random person. I want to do a competition or something and have it kind of based on, you know, maybe a build or a creator sim or something like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you on the next one.